Shall we try to solve a problem? Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do first is tell you and your parents the three steps for solving a problem. And you don't have to remember them, okay? Because I'm okay. going to be helping you guys do them. Okay. Step number one is where me and mom and dad, probably mostly me today because I'm teaching your parents how to do this and you. Yeah. We're going to be asking you for some information, what kind of information? about the problem we're going to be talking about. Just, okay. just what's hard about it for you. Okay. okay. Then, so we're going to try to get your concerns or your thoughts, okay, about what's hard about it. Then, after we're sure we have all of your thoughts, we're going to get their thoughts, Maybe right? You, John? Those two guys. We're going to hear what they think. Think about what? The problem that we're going to be talking about, which is difficulty going to the dentist. That's the one you wanted to talk about, right? Okay. Then, once we know your thoughts and their thoughts, we're going to try to come up with a solution that makes everybody happy with the solution. Got the idea? Yeah. That's what I thought. So those are the three steps. And you know what I call those three steps? Plan B. Plan B is where you're solving a problem together instead of like the adults telling a kid what to do. Let's see how you like it, okay? Okay. If there's anything about it you don't like, just let me know and we'll figure it out. Ready? Okay. Yeah. So, Ma and I'm going to be telling your mom and dad what I'm doing at each step along the way, okay? Mom and dad, I'm going to start with what's known as the empathy step. The empathy step begins with an introduction. The introduction begins with, I've noticed that, and ends with, what's up? In between, we are inserting the unsolved problem that we want to be talking with Joshua about. Notice this is proactive, right? I don't want to be talk. the ideal time to talk to Joshua about difficulty going to the dentist is not right when they're in the middle of having difficulty going to the dentist, right? Yeah. So here's what it's going to sound like. Yeah. Joshua. I've noticed that it's sometimes hard for you to go to the dentist. What's up? Now you talk. Um, I don't want to go to the dentist because um, on the radio I have a, I have a like uh, music. I don't want to listen to it. Every time the dentist ruins my time. Let me make sure I understood what you just said. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Every time I listen to music, beautiful music, and I don't want to go to the dentist. In that time, I go to when I go that time when I go to the dentist. <coughs> the, radio, the radio station, that kind of radio station, is on, and I don't want to go to the dentist. I see. Let me make sure I got it right. Are you ready? If I get anything wrong, you let me know, okay? Okay. Sometimes when it's time to go to the dentist, you're listening to some beautiful music on a radio station. <laughs> and, and, and like, um, and, <coughs> and when I go to just amuse me, the radio station is on, on, only when I go to the dentist. The, ra the music on the radio station is on when you're supposed to be going to the dentist. Yes. And you don't want to miss it. Yes. Do I have it right? Yeah. All right. So, one of the reasons you might not be wanting to go to the dentist yeah. is because you're listening to beautiful music on the radio station and you don't want to miss the music because it's only on at that time. When I go to the dentist. When you go to the dentist. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Are there any other reasons? Do you guys, Mom and Dad, you understand that? Yes. yes. Good? Yeah. Boy, you're doing a great job so far. Yeah. I think you're going to be good at this. Any other reasons that you're having difficulty going to the dentist? Because um, it's too tiring. And I want to do it every time. It's too tiring to go to the dentist. Yeah, I don't like it. Well, th now th those are two different things. 
it's too tiring, I think, is one thing. I don't like it is another. Tell me, tell me about the I don't like it part. What don't you like about it? I'm not sure. You know what would help me is to know why you're going to the dentist in the first place. I don't know why you're even going to the dentist. Why are you going to the I, dentist? Because to get my clip teeth. <coughs> to get my clip teeth loose. So I have rotten teeth and broke, broken teeth. I want my teeth to be healthy. I guess that's a good thing. Do you agree? Yeah. Good thing to have healthy teeth? Yeah. All right. I go to the dentist for the same reason. They clean my teeth. Yeah. So they're healthy and so that they're not all cracked and broken and brown and craggedy and, right? Yeah. So it sounds like you think that's a good idea, but there's also something about getting your teeth clean that you don't like. Is there something about getting your teeth clean that you don't like? The machine. The machine all here or here. I think I know the machine you mean. Are they two different things? <coughs> oh, that little, little a little, little tiny circle. Like, um. <coughs> and the circle, little tiny dot twists and it put it in your teeth. I don't know. Is there the one. I don't know which machines they're using. Is there the one that sucks water out of your mouth? No. Kind of sits right here? They don't use that one? No. So is this like a teeth cleaner that goes yeah. like this? Spins. Spins? Yeah. And is there the scraper that goes like this? No. They don't use a scraper? Not yet. No. Good. And so um, the one machine is like an electric toothbrush that spins. I'm going to go there every time. But we're going many times to get you used to it. And you're doing a much like better it. job now. It's getting better and better. You're able to do more and more with your teeth every time we go. So they're cleaning more and more of his teeth? Yes. yes. And is this primarily... No, and... Yes? <coughs> and like, um... <coughs> and today, I knew it was a nut. <coughs> now the new one, I took a pick. I didn't like it. So I don't like it. Got it. Now, I gotta ask your parents something before we go on. Did you guys know that stuff? Is there any part of that stuff you guys did not know? Is any of this new information? No, we knew that he didn't like tools, tools in his mouth. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How not about the, the not, not the radio and no, not, nothing about the radio. The radio we didn't know. No. Okay. I like the radio. Right. All right. So here's what we know. You don't want to miss the music on the radio. Okay, mom and dad. This is a summary. <coughs> mm -hmm. Okay. But we're always. Wait, and. Yes. <coughs> I yell at mommy. Hit mommy. I don't want to go to the dentist. I don't want to go to the dentist. Well, that's what happened. I pull her hair. Right. Well, mm. that we don't want you doing, right? No. Right. That's what happens because this problem isn't solved yet, right? Okay. Because your mom is still trying to get you to go to the dentist, even though you're missing the music and even though the instruments are in your mouth, right? But if we could do something about those things, I wonder if that would make it so that you could. Go to the dentist without a problem. But I'm, I'm, I still want to hear more. Here's what we know so far. You don't want to miss the music on the radio. And there's some things about having those instruments in your mouth that you don't like. No. Is, machines. Machines. Is there... No. There's, there's one machine and, and two no, non-machines. Got it. The, the machine is the electric brush. Mm. The non-machines are the picker and the other. <coughs> and as I won't like about going to a dentist, I don't like about like... <coughs> I don't really... I, don't, <coughs> I know something... <coughs> I know something about what? My teeth? My brush. Oh yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. In front? It hurts. Can you brush at home or when you go to the dentist? Um, you know, I'll, I'll spend my. I brush this and this very light. Probably because we need to brush more at home. Yeah. <laughs> Brushing more actually toughens up your gums and it doesn't hurt as much. 
Well, but in the meantime, it's just good to know that it's sensitive there, yes? Yeah. It's good yeah. to know that it hurts. Yes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, is there anything else that's making it hard for you to go to the dentist? I'm not sure. Think about it. No rush. Got a nice cookie there. We're not in a hurry. They make nice cookies here, don't they? What is that picture? Is it the old fashioned car times? I don't know what that picture is. To tell. Looks like it's like, like out it's there. Right the is it? Yeah. <coughs> I think uh, uh, near our motel. We are in a motel. No, no, like. <coughs> I think that picture is near the motel. I think you're right. Yeah. So any other reasons that it's hard for you to go to the dentist? We know some. Is we this Powerade? Is this what? Powerade, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Blue. <laughs> this is a big treat for him. Powerade? Yeah. We appreciate you accommodating us. <laughs> yes. Are the cookies a treat, too? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, that may be more so, but definitely yeah. <laughs> the Powerade's a big treat. Powerade's big, well, you know. <laughs> so, Joshua, what do you think? Anything else making it hard to go to the dentist? Um. <coughs> and every time I go in the waiting room, yes. went in the waiting room, after my chicks out, we go to sleep, <coughs> sleep, and then I go in and we go after the chicken, my dentist. Before the weight comes out, we, we sit in the seat to wait for the nurse. I had to tell mommy something, and the nurse came right in. She says, Oh, strapped on Joshua. And she came right in. And I said, to tell her right away, and the seat, and she stacked right in. So. He was trying to tell me something. We were having a conversation. I see. And then she came out. It was time to go, go in. So I guess his conversation got cut short. Got it. You would have liked to have finished the conversation. Yes. Yes? <coughs> no, it was before I wanted to go. I came my mind and Josh, she, she. <coughs> I said, excuse me, too. I just crashed right in. So she interrupted. Yeah. Is that what you mean? Yes. Not good, huh? Not good. Not good. She's ugly. No, she's not, not ugly. Not, not, uh, not ugly. She's nice, but I don't like it when she does that. I dash into her and I have a question for mommy. Yeah, I can tell. All right. The more you, truth is, the more I ask you what else there could be, the more we're hearing. What else? That's it. Think that's it? Yes. You sure? I think for a while. All right. So now mom and dad, a little more instruction, okay? Um, what you may have noticed is that I'm summarizing a lot and asking for more, right? And what's really cool is that there's usually more. But now we've heard that there's no more, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna summarize one more time. Mm -hmm. And then we're probably gonna move into the next step by the way, Joshua. Uh, oh, I have a question for you. Let's hear. <coughs> when I'm waiting in the waiting room, waiting for the nurse, I'm always first in line every time. You don't want to be first in line? I want to be last. That's, that's not fair. Last to go in? I think we just get there on time, and it's just time to go in. Because I don't go too early, <laughs> and I don't go too Why? Long. <laughs> just go. Just, so you don't have to wait too long. Just go too, too early. Just go too early. Really? Go early next time? But then, if you go too early, you'll be—you'll definitely be first in line. <coughs> no, no, no. Go too late. I won't go too late. I go late. Is there a line at the dentist's office? No. I didn't think so. You sit. You sit in the waiting room. Yeah. But then, do you usually get called first? Yes, I don't like it. You don't want to get called first. Correct. So now, mom and dad, and Joshua, here's the deal. The same solution is not going to solve all of those, okay? I have a feeling the solution to the music part 
is going to be different than the solution to the equipment part, which is going to be different than the interrupting part, which is going to be different than the getting called first part. So we, but we're not going to have a one fell swoop solution here. So we're going to have to take them one at a time, right? But before we do, it's your turn. Joshua, do you think we could listen to what they have to say next? Don't you think, have they been doing a good job of listening to you? What's that mean? Who? Do you think mom and dad have been doing a good job of listening to what you have to say about how hard it is to go to the dentist? Not, he's not been doing a good job? How about mom? <coughs> Your face looks. Your face looks. <laughs> yeah. Has mom been doing a good job of listening? Oh, you have. I have. Yeah, you have and you have. They're both okay, great. They're both thank very you. good thank listeners. You. Now it's me, now it's our turn to be the good listeners and listen to them. Okay? Mom and dad, what's your concern about Joshua having difficulty going to the dentist? What? And by the way, adult concerns usually fall into one or both of two categories. How it's affecting Joshua? how it's affecting other people. How would, how is diff, not the aftermath, which is hair pulling, but how, why is it important to you guys that Joshua go to the dentist? Well, Joshua, it's important <coughs> for me if you- No, 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 I know. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna- <laughs> I'm trying to leave a clean, clean teeth clean. But let's not, let's, yeah, let's let mom say it, cause, cause we wanna hear what mom has to say. Go ahead. Because I know that if you don't go to the dentist, You'll end up. I already said that. Yes, right, you'll, we just you'll won't end up too, having though. to have bigger instruments and more frightening things happen that will bother you even more if you don't keep your teeth clean now. Right. And it's really important. It feels good to have clean, good teeth. It makes a person happy, and I want you to be happy. And why? Does it make you happy to have clean teeth? Yeah. It does. Daddy. I'm gonna brush at home. I'm gonna brush at home more. You're gonna brush at home more? Because it sounds like you want to have clean teeth. And you have to remind me. I'm yeah. betting your mom would be happy to do that. Any concerns you want to add to the mix? Um, no. I just I, I know clean, um, healthy teeth are important. Cause I, there's a time in my life I didn't go to the dentist for a number of years, and I had to go. Now I go every four months, so I go more than often than normal. So, like, so you know how important it is to yes, have clean teeth? Yes. yes. Yes? And you guys really want Josh to have clean teeth. And going to the dentist helps us have clean teeth. Yes? yes? Oh. Do you agree? I, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it at home. You're going to do it at home? There's things they do at the dentist that we can't do at home. We haven't even gotten to that part yet. Let's hear that part. That's when they clean between your teeth. And if you get little hard, scaly stuff on your gums, they can gently sweep it out. So I think you're saying that there's ways that dentists clean the teeth. Yes. That works even better. Yes. Than the way we clean our teeth at home. Yes. And they so have brighter at least, lights. At least every once in a while. Right. You gotta let the dentist clean your teeth. Yes. Do you understand that, Joshua? Yeah. Do you? Good. But to get used to. Because every once in a while it wasn't working, we we're going we we're going more often to get Joshua used to being at the dentist. So, so that's it is, very interesting. It's, so it's more often. Forever, I'm not going to be used to it. I know. So let me ask. So here's the question, Joshua. Which of the other day, when you didn't want to go to the dentist, was there one of the things we know about that was the main reason why I got this feeling? that it was one of them more than the others. Do you think the other day when you didn't want to go, was it the music or the equipment or the interrupting or the going first? It's interrupting and the equipment. Not the music? The music was, I like it. No, I know, but what do you think was the main reason the other day that you didn't want to go? Um, the, the interrupting. The interrupting. What do you think, Mom? No, I, not the, um, yeah, the interrupting. I think it was the music, and that what, what really got him well, upset. What kind of music? When you were listening to the, the church music, and we had to stop the car, mm -hmm. we stopped, we turned it off. I liked mu music. Oh, I know you do. Now let's solve a problem, and just for practice, okay? 
We're not going to solve everything about going to the dentist in one sitting, but just for practice and for you guys, and Josh was doing an incredible job. Let's use the music problem, okay? To think of some solutions. Right. So Joshua, and M Mom and Dad, I'm going to word this in a certain way. This is the third step. It's called the invitation. It usually starts with the words, I wonder if there's a way. And what I'm going to do is wonder if there's a way, generically, to address the concerns of both parties. Okay? Joshua's concern. He would like to be able to not miss the music. Joshua doesn't want to miss the music. Your concern. You want to make sure his teeth are clean in the way that only dentists can clean teeth, which mm -hmm. is better than the way we clean teeth. So now let me put that together, right? Joshua, you ready? Now comes yes. the fun part. I wonder if there's a way for us to make sure you don't miss the music, but still make sure that yeah. your teeth get cleaned as good as dentists clean them. Clean at home. With a brush. This is a fun solution. That is a solution. I actually want to do that at home. I know you want to do it at home. But remember what your parents said about sometimes the dentists clean the teeth better than we can at home? We need to make sure their concern gets addressed too. How can we make sure you don't miss the music, but still <laughs> oh, make God. sure your teeth I... get that clean? Is there a way to do it? How can we make sure you still don't miss the music, but still make sure your teeth get as clean as they need to at the dentist? Um, go to a fart, um, Go to a farther dentist's office and then listen to the music more. That's a very interesting idea. So you could be in the car longer and listen to the music. This is impressive. Want no, no I don't want that plan. I want that okay. plan. I like that dentist. You like that distance? Okay, so we're not, that's not the solution we're going to go with. Let's think of some more. <laughs> um. And by the way, you're not the only one us to think of them. <laughs> If you're having oh, mom, trouble, oh, they can think of some. <laughs> that music station, uh, all that information, yeah. <coughs> goes into my disc more. That's a yes. very good idea. Yes. Wait, I didn't hear uh, that. Uh, excellent, excellent that idea. That hips thing, like that thing. Not a disc. <coughs> Joshua, you're very good at this. <coughs> and build a, a DVD and build a outside. Had the town DVD. Well, we have a CD player in our car, so we just have to put the disc. Wait a minute, in this is on a disc, not a radio station? No, it's a radio, but we could put music on the disc. Oh, Mama, well, this is a good idea. Same kind of music? Same kind of music. <coughs> and the same radio station, the same radio, the same thing, all, all the same thing, but like um. <coughs> the talking too, or just the music? <coughs> the music and the talking. Oh, then we'd have to record. Or get a radio we could bring in with him. Another idea. <laughs> Headphones. Oh, wow. Hey, Mom, I want to build a radio I can hold and bring out to town. <coughs> and at hold and go on going, when going outside. <coughs> I get to rock around with it. You have a crank radio right at home. Yeah. Oh, I have a smaller radio instead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I like the crank one. It's too, it's too like, um, too much work. <laughs> too much work. Yeah. <laughs> I use it really low way. I don't even know what a crank radio is. You can buy them at L.L. Bean. You just, they're like solar powered and you can <coughs> crank them up. I must have missed that last time I was at L.L. Bean. <laughs> so, Joshua, now we have a few ideas. One. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm a little funny idea. <coughs> Me, I'm not, not a crank radio. <coughs> Has a radio. Take a drink. <coughs> Why don't you take a drink? Okay. Drink some blue stuff. <laughs> if, if this is medicine, then drinking. I don't know what's better. 
Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. Hey, Dave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Got it. <coughs> that, in, that, in that other town where I do, <coughs> it doesn't play music by itself. <coughs> but if you put if if you put a disc in, <coughs> and it's battery operated. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to crank it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I have to crank yes. it. I have a player in it. It's battery operated. And you can put a disc in. You got you got a double oh, thing. A Sony Walkman, <coughs> Discman, I think they call it. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. <coughs> and when you put the when you put the disc in in, in that in that player, and when you put the disc in that player, mm -hmm. <coughs> has numbers on it. <coughs> and, <coughs> and it's in that same station. <coughs> what numbers? Yep. And different kinds of numbers there yep. is. So you could find the same radio station. <laughs> yes. And you have one already, right? Yes, I have a. Would, would using that one be okay with you? Is it a crank one? No, no it's, it's battery. battery. <laughs> Does it have numbers on it? Can... Yes, it has numbers on it. It has little buttons. You can change what's playing. And it has a little thing you put the earphones in. You can put earphones in. I'd like to have that. Yeah.